Hi, it's Scott Tempesta from sunny San Diego. We're at Southwestern Yacht Club today for another one of our retro boat videos. This is the Irwin 32 Citation. One, two, three, listen. I'm in the cockpit of the Irwin 32 Citation. Not the most spacious place, but nice enough. We're gonna get into this boat and some of the characteristics that are very unique. Uh, and one reason why is these boats were built in Florida. I'm a SoCal boy, and we never saw many of these Irwins out here. I mean, why would you? At the time this boat was built and the time they built earlier Irwins, you know, late 60s, 70s, 80s, up until the early 90s, out here on the West Coast, we had Cal, we had Ranger, we had Islander, we had Columbia, we had Coronado, uh, I'm sure I'm leaving somebody else off. And so at that time, all of those brands were building a number of boats. I mean, from Cal 20s right up through to the 48s, uh, all of them had a bunch of boats that, that met a lot of needs in Southern California. So it didn't make a lot of sense to buy a boat from Florida, have to pay to have it shipped out here when you could just find one here locally. One thing I didn't know about Irwin, uh, the line of Irwins, is how many boats they built. So pardon me while I read this because I couldn't possibly memorize this, but this is what they built, both cruising boats and race boats. Very interesting. All designed and built by Ted Irwin, uh, a man of some notoriety. He passed away in 2015, but his body of work is stunning. Here we go. All right. They had an Irwin 23, an Irwin 24, an Irwin 25, an Irwin half ton, an Irwin half ton Mark II. Irwin 10-4, I don't know what that is, and Irwin 21 Free Spirit. They had an Irwin 27, an Irwin 28, an Irwin 28 Mark II. An Irwin Avante 42, and lastly, the Irwin Mini Tunner. I mean, I dare you to find a production line that made so many boats but that's what Irwin was all about. All right, I'm at my normal station. Of course, Helmsman, duh. Um, but I have to show you the coolest feature of this boat. Keep in mind, this boat came out in 1985 uh, and it had a couple of breakthroughs, dare I say. So, looks like a normal Helmsman seat, right, for the wheel, if you're not standing up, posing like I do. This isn't just a seat, check this out. You lift this bad boy up, find a place to store it, and you just go ahead and you kick down the swim ladder. I mean, for real, that is, that is a cool feature. Yes, it adds some weight and some complexity, but damn. I mean, now all modern boats of any size, cruising, racing variations, they all have some version of this, mostly for storage, dinghy storage. But if you wanted to go swimming on your, Air, on your Irwin 32 Citation, you just had your ladder right there. You want to put it away, pull it up, Stick it there, put your seat back on, you're good to go. Who knew that they had such a thing on boats? We certainly didn't have these in Southern California. Now we're gonna take a step forward and look at the deck of the boat. Also some other interesting items on this boat. We're at Command Central on this boat. Normally you'd think that's where the wheel is and the helmsman now. This is where the action happens. They did a mid-boom traveler here right in front of the hatch. It's nice, it's out of the way. Sometimes mid-boom travelers are so obnoxious. They did a pretty decent job here. Um, it's an interesting thing to note. So this is the main sheet for one of these and then you control all your halyards with this. And look at these little things, little Barlow 16s, I mean, they're cute and almost completely useless. But you know, 1985, winch technology was not what it is today. But you gotta appreciate that everything's kind of tidy here and it's all really just on this side of the boat. So nice position for somebody else to control the mainsail. And also if you can do some halyards here as well, kind of a decent little way to do it. I like it. So boats of this genre and this vintage, they had big cabin houses, right? Boats got pretty nice wide decks that I talked about, one of my favorite things. 
This particular boat is a shoal draft version. It's only four feet draft, and so, you know, not the greatest upwind boat. It had a standard keel that was significantly different. This boat's named Wiki Wiki, and it came from Michigan. Uh, it's been out here, I think, for around a decade or so. They take nice care of it. And one of the things I want to point out, we don't see this on West Coast boats very much at all. This is called a baby stay. And it goes right up to about oh, midpoint on the mast right there. And this is here in place because this boat, if you get in any kind of a seaway, any kind of a chop, the mast will tend to pump a little bit because it only has a single inline lower and a single upper. There's no forward or aft shrouds. And so this will often do the work of that. And it also gives you a bend point in the mass. If you are racing the boat, you pull the baby stay on fairly tight. And then when you put the back stay on, it gives a, pl a place where it can start to bend aft. The thing about these things, as you might guess, is these boats don't carry non-overlapping jibs. They carry big 155s. And tacking around this thing is a Genoa killer. And it's a giant pain in the ass. A little surprised they don't have a quick release on that to get that out of the way, but they mostly day sail and cruise this boat. But the baby state, it's a thing to avoid at all costs. One of the differences between Southern California production boats and this East Coast built in Florida, most all the Irwins were, was the fact that not many SoCal boats had any kind of an anchor locker up here. This one did, and it's a pretty nice one. I mean, it's substantial. You can carry a big size anchor there. No doubt it's self-draining. It just simply has to be. But it's a nice feature for those who want to cruise. And like I said, this boat's set up for cruising. But you won't find that on SoCal boats, uh, you know, 70s, maybe some of the Catalinas as it got a little into the 80s and stuff, but, and most of the other brands like Cal and Ranger, they were long, long gone. And uh, so that's a nice thing to do it, nice way to do it, a nice feature on this boat. All right, that's on deck. You got an idea for what's happening here. Come down below. Pretty interesting. All right, down below the Irwin 32 Citation, Nice place to be, nice cushions, a little on the dark side, but not really, And given the amount of teak, and I'm going to point out something that illustrates why it's not all that dark. What's the one thing you see right here, though? That's the mast. Now, it looks odd. I mean, if you look at the scope of the, of the boat down below, it looks like the mast is way back in the boat. It's really not, actually, because this boat has an aft head fully enclosed aft head. Normally, when I say normally, most SoCal boats, most boats in general, if they have a singular head, they have it forward. It can be enclosed, but then it makes the mast look like it's kind of in the normal position. This is in the normal position, but there's none of this space here, and there's an enclosed head here. So it gives the illusion of like, whoa, that mast is really far aft in the boat. It's really not. This boat just happens to have an enclosed aft head. This is a nice little feature, and I, and I like how they did this. Nav station, obviously, but look at this. This is great because you can just sit right here, and you can navigate. I mean, some of the boats you have to kind of stand up sometimes, awkward places to sit. I mean, this is a pretty nice place to do it, and, of course, you can yell at the helmsman and tell him what a shitty job he's doing of driving. Not that I would ever do anything like that. So I talked a little bit about the light down below the boat, right? Check this out. This boat... And some of these Irwins had actual windows in the hull. And that was kind of unheard of uh, back then. Now, if you look at any modern boat, I mean any modern boat, they've all got windows down below and it's to give light. The difference here, one thing that they did is they made them opening, opening ports. So this boat in particular, the owner told me that, yeah, they used to open them up because it lets ventilation come in and it's really quite nice. They went sailing and forgot. So it was windy, the boat heeled over, and it started shipping water in through the windows. And the helmsman commented, wow, this thing feels sluggish. It's not going very well. Somebody looked down below. It was like a foot of water down below, and it had all come from these opening ports. Needless to say, they don't open these things anymore. But from just a design point, right, for ventilation and for uh, light, pretty neat. And there's quite a few of them, and we show you a little bit more outside. You can see there's like three or four per side. Pretty interesting uh, uh, development for a boat, a production boat, where this was basically unheard of uh, in the day. One of the nice things about a fat boat, and if I didn't mention it already, this thing's 11 feet wide plus, I believe. Weighs about 10,000 pounds. Interesting. Not all that bad. Pretty tall rig, believe it or not. But when you have a fat boat, 
you get a lot of volume down below. And this is an impressive area. I mean, this is a nice size galley. Everything is right here. Icebox double sink, if you can imagine that. Uh, they added a microwave. They never used it. I'm not sure why it's there. But man, this is really impressive, especially when you just realize that there's an enclosed head right here, which if you take a look, if I open the door here, that's pretty darn nice. I mean, there's a lot of space in there. There's another one of those windows. Um, and given that it's a 1985 boat, it has the, the cocaine mirrors down below. Of course, those were standard, kidding. Uh, but in terms of volume back here in the boat, this is nice. Follow me back to the aft double berth. It's really nice. So here I am in the aft stateroom, as it were, and it is wide back here, wide and long. Plenty of room for two people. It's really nice. They put a deck prism light here, so it really does light this up. If that wasn't there, it'd be pretty dark down here. So you've got some natural sunlight that is filtered down here. Decent headliner, very nice. And then you've got your, your uh, light for down below. So, you know, if you're going to have another couple, it's a really nice place to be or kids. Uh, if only you could shut them in here, that would be really perfect. Let's step forward and I'll show you the four peak on this boat as well. All right, in the four peak of the Irwin 32 Citation, really nice place to be. Hanging locker here, uh, drawers on this side, a lot of light from the foredeck hatch and plenty spacious. You've also got light from these aforementioned windows, uh, which does help, just don't open them. Um, wow, just in terms of sleeping ability, you've got two back there, you've got two here, two can sleep in the settee, and one can sleep in that settee. So if you've got a decent sized family, and you want a boat that goes along just fine and has plenty of room, it's a good choice. What? Oh, it's <laughs> taking a little nap down here, and you can see why. This is the double settee. Normally there's a table here, I suppose, and simply pull the cushion out, put the table up. But really, just in terms of hanging out, it's a pretty damn nice place to be. I mean, I got the captain's blanket here. What more could you ask for? Never having really been on an Irwin, uh, and now coming down below this 32 citation, I just love down below. I mean, it's really well done, really thought out, and super spacious. I like it. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you would like to come snuggle with me under my captain's blanket, you can. You just simply have to hit the like button. Not everybody can come snuggle with me. Uh, and please do subscribe to the channel. We love your participation and love the fact that you guys seem to like these. Um, for Nobleman Productions and for Sailing Anarchy, I'm Scott Tempesta. We out. <laughs>